Justin Reed Quail, and today we're here for another game unboxing. Today we've got a lovely game called The Zone. It's in a, it comes in an awesome yellow Geiger counter style case, and The Zone is about a game similar to Stalker, the video game series, or the Southern Reaches novel series, also known as uh, the Annihilation movies. It is what is called a pay-to-lose system, and it's about a research team going into the middle of, a, of the zone and going through who knows what. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open and see what's inside. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just open this up. And it's got this really awesome looking uh, case with all these uh, rechargeable glow sticks on the inside. And we've also got some stickers here. With the, the Zone logo, uh, one of the mutated scientists, the not so easy, a couple of the other mutation, artwork, and stats mean nothing here, which is pretty awesome. And then here, we have the actual box. So we got the actual box here with its pretty awesome artwork and all that with the tagline right there the surreal play to horror play to lose horror rpg and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open the plastic on that all right so i already went ahead and took the plastic off of this let's go and open the box up all right so i did kickstart this so i got my awesome uh thank you for backing the containment edition with the tips about the glow sticks and everything and toss that. Alright, here's the manual. Pretty cool looking. Um, it's got some great surrealist artwork throughout it and all that. I've seen the digital version. It's pretty nice to actually get the physical copy in my hand. Um, I do like how it does actually look like real briefing paperwork. And it's pretty decently high quality paper and all that will be neat to go through and here's the creme de la creme right here here's the book of mutations and these can be used for like in any game um, that involve mutations even uh, uh 40k rpgs like imperial maledictum or dark heresy and all that and looking forward to actually going through all that Next is we have the Book of Twists, which is going to be cool. And these are all the different like plot twists and stuff like that and how to set things up. Once again, really neat artwork. And all that. Cool, cool, cool. And here, here's where everything gets awesome. We've got the iridescent deck here. Pretty neat. These are established the scenes. This is for fate. And I believe these are cool. Hologram. Very awesome. Alright, I went ahead and moved removed all the plastic from all the cards. So go ahead and take a look at these hologram ones really quick. And you can just see that it's got all the great artwork, right? It doesn't really show up well on camera, but the hologram effects are fantastic. And we got a bunch of the motivation cards right here. Progress, others, sites, longevity, and all that good stuff. And there's just a lot of cards here. This game is ran off of cards. 
fantastic. Steady hand, limitless, and all that. Let me stick these back here. Next, we have all the scene cards. And so this is just a variety of scenes, such as something helps the character see the true potential of the mutation and all that. Or you stumble on anomalies that block your way. All the cool things like that. And that's what drives the narrative is that that runs the different scenes and all that. Here we have a variety of cards. Of course we have this. Thank you for getting the zone. And all that. And here are all the call signs for all the different characters. We have a bunch of them. Like Fox, Abydos, Babel, and all that. Next we have all the locations such as Boundaries and Campfire and the center and all that end game cards and all this cool stuff more locations theme parks the village and just all these great great locations you can even probably use these as i said in other games and the rule book actually does say that um, you can pull characters from other rpgs and adapt them to do a zone like type of situation, containment zone. So you can easily do, let's say, Warhammer 40k, going into the warp, maybe? And stuff like that. Either with Wrath and Glory, or even um, the new D100 Imperial Maledictum. Next, we have some couple of tutorial cards here. More, f some fake cards, such as Call Sign and Fox meets their fate, and that determines who dies and who doesn't. So, and then the not so easy cards. These are cards that affect the different scenes, such as yes, but you're only because you're forced to reconsider a crucial aspect of your obsession. What changes in your motivation? Or the zone requires you to sacrifice a precious item that you risk everything to bring with you. What is it? All these good, good cards that will drive the role play of this game. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been the unboxing of The Zone. And I'm looking forward to playing it. It has a lot of really cool cards and the game has a lot of ambiance. One of the things that the developers of the game recommend is to use the chem lights, the battery powder chem lights that it came with, and to play it really low light. It just adds to the surrealism and the uh, horror of the whole game. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe, and please check me out on all my other platforms, such as Twitch and Facebook. I do plan to do some more Twitch streams in the future, and I hope I can see you there. Take care, and have a good one.